at 10. So a person drives a vehicle into a home in Lebanon. Why the family who lived there, they were all home and it was all caught on camera. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Our Candace here spoke with that family, joins us live from Lebanon. This is a story you'll see only right here on Fox 19 now. Yes, Rob, Trisha, I am outside of that home here on Meadow Lane in Lebanon. If you take a closer look behind me, you're going to see the front of the home is boarded up. It is tarped over to protect it from the elements as well. And that is because a person drove their vehicle right through the front of the house while the family were inside of the home. Members of that family tell me this was a terrifying experience and that they are grateful they survived. I'm still shocked. Joseph Riddick, his wife Christina and son Austin were home on Monday. Joseph tells me he heard loud noises outside. You can see him here in this doorbell camera footage. The moment he had to move away from a red truck that plows through the front of the house. He says his biggest worry was for his son who was asleep on the couch on the other side of that wall. I saw some fall from the roof out of the corner of my eye. Austin says in the moment, he wasn't sure what exactly had jolted him awake, but he tried to run to the bathroom to seek shelter because... And I was, honestly, I was thinking it was a tornado or something. That's where he met up with his mother, Christina. I was in shock. I kept saying, you were sleeping on the couch. You were sleeping on the couch. She says it was disorienting, trying to escape the smoke-filled home. All the while, the vehicle's accelerator was still down, leading to thicker fumes that further clouded their vision. Christina tells me her first concern was getting her son out of the house. As you can see, ultimately, Austin was able to get out through a nearby bedroom window. Christina was able to eventually make her way out of a back door. But Joseph tells me even when they were outside of the home, he didn't feel like his family was safe because the driver was still behind the wheel and the car was still running. We're trying to get him out, throw rocks at his window. Eventually, that driver, who Lebanon Police Chief Jeffrey Mitchell identifies as 65-year-old Robert Hall of Waynesville, gets out of the vehicle. Lebanon Police Department officers arrived soon thereafter, where they find Hall on the ground. As you can see in this body cam footage, Hall admits to being under the influence. Are you hurting? No, he's drunk. No, I'm drunk. The damage from the crash is now boarded up, as members of this family say they are still trying to process what happened. It was just a, I'm just glad we're all here. Other than some soreness, again, the family members who were home do tell me that they are okay. The Lebanon Police Department has told me that Mr. Hall was arrested at the scene for operating a vehicle while under the influence. From Lebanon, Candace Hare, Fox 19 Now.